thank you for tuning into Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service. And what I have for you today, bringing back to you the Pioneer GMD 8601 amplifier. I, I need to get this board done, so here I am. Um, you can see in the previous video, um, the card here about my thoughts and opinions about mismatched transistors. Um, I have verified these transistors are from the factory. This is a 100% flow soldered board on the bottom. Uh, these have not been installed by a repair technician. Uh, these are from the factory. And so we had the mismatched power supply transistors, which I believe in my opinion uh, was uh, a contributing factor to the failure of this board. I'm sure it wasn't the sole factor, but it definitely probably was a contributing factor. Again, these are my opinions. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace uh, the 3205s in the power supply. I'm going to replace the four uh, IRFB 4227s in the output. Um, I will do these off camera because I have those tools on my other bench. And I will replace the two GM on the power supply that is uh, damaged due to the failed power supply section and I will do that on camera with you guys since my soldering irons are relatively close to this to the uh, camera setup and I will replace that on camera with you guys so I will be right back with you we'll get these TO220s out and uh, we'll get this 2GM replaced I'll be right back with you and while I was getting uh, the old transistors out I uh, got me my new 3205s and I figured I'd show you what I do to match the bends if you notice uh, the power supply transistors they have a bend they have a bend to it so what I do is I I grab an original and I take my flat blade screwdriver and I I kind of hold it against the bend and I line up where the screwdriver shaft matches the notches in these transistor legs so if you're to take a new transistor and you wanted to bend them to the same length because you want them to match in the heat sink what I do is I take my my uh, screwdriver and I match the shaft up to those bends and I just bend the legs over and then what that what that does is it gives you a copy of the original leg length so I just wanted to give you a just a quick example of what I do to match up these uh, TO220s uh, I'll be right back with you again all right, I have returned. I've got the uh, 4227s installed. I've got the 3205s installed in the power supply. And now I'm getting ready to remove that burnt 2GM. I do have the new one ready to go right here on top of the inductor. So let's get that old one off of there. And there's the old transistor out and now the new transistor will go in so I used uh, a bunch of leaded solder on the tip of my iron uh, which picks up all that lead free so now I will put the new 2G transistor in its place. Just like that. And now I'm just going to tack the legs in place. Make sure it's straight. 
pack the legs in place. Just like that. Alright, that's the new 2GM in place. I will clean this up and be right back with you. Alright, so I've got that uh, 2G replaced and I also had to replace the 1G that was next to it. Uh, I did that one off camera real quick like so I don't have to bore you with changing these small surface mount components. Um, and you probably already noticed too, I did replace three gate resistors on the power supply there. And um, otherwise, this uh, should be good to go. I don't have any shorts anywhere. The no shorts on the um, on the drives from the 494. So I think we're just going to go ahead and apply some power to this. You see, um, I do have the scope hooked up and ready to go. Let me find a ground here for me. All right, so I got my scope grounded now for you so uh, let me get channel one channel one's going i'm set at 50 volts i don't need to be quite set to 50 volts per division so i'm 10 volts per division which should give me a good reading for the drive signal let's see i've got the uh, 12 volt 2 amp current limited power supply on uh, so so far i do not have any shorts present and we're going to go ahead and check the drive so we'll verify the drive yes i do see we do have drive present let me get my trigger adjusted and as you can see we do have drive and i do have a blue light and do we have drive we sure do so there's the low side drive and we should have rail to rail drive so there's the pioneer gmd 8601 with low side drive rail to rail drive power supplies back up and running obviously because we do have drive at uh, 18 kilohertz on the power supply looks great let me check the frequency of the low side drive 114 kilohertz perfect and then our rail to rail yep 114 kilohertz so everything is looking good so there's another amplifier repaired um, all matched TO220s on the power supply and on the output. I do not uh, foresee any issues with this amplifier as long as it's driven properly. And uh, hopefully the next owner will enjoy this amplifier. I do thank you for watching. Please visit my website, ellensburgamplifier.com if uh, you're looking to purchase any amplifiers. I do offer amplifiers at a discounted rate. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoy repair content. I will see you on the next one.